Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk about uh, having your own website. And uh, when I say having your own website, I basically want to talk about uh, not worrying at all about uh, any CMS or anything which is wonderful. Having your own website means that uh, it could be a simple HTML page. Now I was talking to my friend Vinod um, today and uh, he he had a blog on Drupal and then he also tried Graph and I, I talked about Graph by the way on, on, the, on, on my channel and I think I've made a couple of videos on Graph, I think more than a couple of videos on Graph, I think Graph is wonderful. But he was looking for even simpler and uh, then I asked him to then I asked him to take a look at this website ravisagar.com which is one of my domain which I got last year. I do have uh, there was a time when I had I think 70 domains but now I have definitely less than 20. So I do own uh, quite a lot of domains and uh, I was able to get this domain ravisaga.com last year because it is nice ravisaga.com my first name my last name dot com and uh, when, when, I, when I when I got this domain I thought uh, let us do something interesting with this although I was maintaining uh, my own uh, uh, simple HTML based web website using nothing but uh, org mode and I'm actually very happy with the outcome I think I have been doing this uh, uh, for more than I think w w almost one and a half year I think last year I started uh, uh, I think somewhere in April last year I started playing with the idea of uh, publishing a blog and uh, using org mode of course if you have a note you can actually export it to HTML but if you do some configurations in your Emacs init file you can also publish a proper blog like you will basically get a folder with all the notes that uh, you want to manage now this is great but if you want to do even simpler things you can basically have uh, a site like this where uh, you have nothing but uh, pure html and of course uh, it is not just pure pure html there is also a little bit of uh, li little bit of uh, css and uh, javascript not really too much to be honest because uh, um, if you look at the content here, it is nothing but, uh, you know, just my name, what I do, maybe a couple of links to few other places where I want people to go. For example, if someone is uh, looking at this this website, they can click on courses and they will be redirected to myravisaga.in or if they want to take a look at my videos and I, I don't really, I haven't really updated this site this year I think at all but there's something that uh, I'm doing something interesting that I'm doing here and that is the uh, content from my ravisagar.in website so on my ravisagar.in website which is nothing but a Drupal site I do have a lot of content which I add regularly it is a proper CMS it is of course on Drupal but on this website ravisagar.com I thought I'll probably add a bit more dynamic things than just pure html so i also added a css not css but a javascript that will pull the latest two blogs or any content from my ravisaga.in website using uh, the feed so usually um i mean i am a big I, i'm i i'm 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 very much in line with this idea of uh, having rss feed so I do have RSS feed on my ravisaga.in website and this RSS feed is nothing but a simple XML file and uh, using this RSS feed and by the way on Drupal you can have RSS feed for basically any type of content. It could be for the content that you have on the home page, it could be for a specific uh, category based on a tag or it could be um, based on specific type of content. You can do a lot of wonderful things with uh, Drupal and views and uh, you can export basically when you create a new view using uh, of course inbuilt features of Drupal you can also configure it to generate RSS feed and uh, when you have the RSS feed you can actually of course promote it I, I always have uh, 
the link to my RSS feed somewhere on my website. For example, if you open my site, I believe there should be a feed link like this one, I believe, subscribe to, subscribe to. And uh, if you even look at this particular block, uh, want to connect, want to connect me, maybe I should rename it, want to connect with me. Okay, uh, maybe I'll just uh, do it uh, right now. Want to connect with me. I think that sounds better. Okay, want to connect with me. Okay. And uh, oh yeah, I was actually trying to show you the feed, RSS feed. So I do have RSS feed and I, I believe that this is great. Um, even in 2021, because when you have RSS feed, you can actually talk to other systems. And uh, uh, in this particular case, I'm basically using a small JavaScript, which I wrote that will uh, basically pull the content from uh, my uh, ravisaga.in website and it will look at the RSS feed, it will look at uh, the top two items and then of course it will uh, it will then of course display it here and I do want to share uh, the JavaScript with all of you so I have I've actually written a blog about it because I believe in sharing so if you look at this blog I'll share the link by the way so this is the JavaScript and of course, you know, I didn't really write the whole JavaScript from scratch. It is nothing complicated. I mean, if you search online, you will find, uh, I believe a lot of examples like how to parse RSS. And uh, there is a link by the way. I mean, I believe that, you know, if I'm looking at a code from somewhere on line, um, Stack Overflow, of course, I mean, you can do a lot of wonderful things by doing a simple search online if you want to learn JavaScript you can but I believe that whenever you're learning something you, sh you should learn it with the intention to solve a problem maybe work on a project and I do have a lot of ideas for things that I want to learn not because I want to <clears throat> learn them but because I want to uh, solve my own problems and using this JavaScript code which I modified slightly I mean if you link if you open this link I believe uh, you will be able to uh, find the uh, code for basically, or you can just search parse RSS code in JavaScript. And once you do that, you will be able to, of course, display something like this on your simple HTML, web, HTML based website. So this is something that I wanted to talk about today. And it looks quite good, by the way. I mean, if you look at it, because RSS feed has everything, if you look at the original content, like random walls, wallpaper shell script, if you go to the actual content, there is a code and there is a content and there is a title and uh, everything is looking so nice. And it will also bring in the topic, which is awesome because everything is linked to the actual tag. And there is a link to call, link to the actual website as well from where I am pulling this information, my own website, but I want to, of course, link things together. So if you want to, I, I think if you are thinking of having your own website, you should, but don't worry about uh, complicating things like having a website in Drupal or WordPress. I think having just a simple domain name, which is nothing but it could be a folder, by the way, online somewhere. And great thing is that if you, if you want to start having your own, if you want to start uh, publishing things online, uh, which I think you should do, then uh, just buy a domain name. Don't even worry about the hosting because you can actually host your website on uh, GitLab. And that is wonderful. I mean, without paying anyone anything, you can actually uh, uh, host, it, host it as well. So the way it works is you can uh, simply commit your code to the, rep to the repos repository. So let us say if I modify something here, I'll probably commit my code and the moment I commit it, no, not commit, but the moment I push it to my um, to my master branch, it will then, uh, because uh, there is a simple pipeline which is configured on GitLab that will of course uh, look at the changes and it will then redeploy the site. So all my sites uh, that are maintained using nothing but simple HTML like ravisaga.com, linuxindia.com and I think one more autogrid.info and of course ravi.pro, they are all 
uh, hosted on hosted on GitLab, and I'll probably link my videos URL so that uh, you can also learn how to do it. Let me just share the link so that I have to. You, you, the video is there on my channel, by the way. So this is the this is the video. Like publish a website with org mode and host it on host it for, for free on GitLab. I mean you don't have to. I mean you can of course ignore the part for org mode if you don't really worry about Emacs. You can just focus on GitLab part and it works wonderfully well. Of course, try if you can have your own dom your own your your own hosting because that is your own server. But for me because uh, I already have a lot of virtual private servers <laughs> with me because that is what I have been doing for many years. I have my own servers, but uh, it is a good feeling that, you know, you can host for free on GitLab and I, I trust GitLab. I mean, worst case scenario, let us say if the company goes down, I still have my GitHub repositories uh, with me uh, on my local and I of course take backups of my hard disk from time to time. I basically do a simple R thing. Uh, I should probably try to do something a bit more uh, Space. I'm actually in a process of setting up my own RAID server, my own RAID storage server, which I never did ever because I always relied on uh, a simple hard disk. I'm sure I have like plenty of hard disk. Like for example, I have this, uh, I pulled out this hard disk from uh, my, one of my laptop. It is nothing, it is not SSD by the way. So whenever I pull out hard disk from my old machines, I use them because you can purchase these adapters by the way and when you have these adapters uh, these, these are really cheap, cheap by the way if you are in Delhi you go to Nehru place you'll probably be able to pick them from like some place I'm, I'm sure someone is selling on the floor not a, not a floor but yeah somewhere it could be on, on like people you know they have their small setup they sell things like adapters cables uh, probably on the streets maybe purchase it for maybe I don't know couple of hundred rupees if you are in UK, you have to spend, of course, a bit more because everything everything is expensive in UK. But uh, these are not, I think I paid, I, I don't re really remember, I think I paid like 10 pounds maybe, maybe 5 pounds. It's from a company called U Green. So, yeah, get yourself uh, these adapters and uh, and use your old hard disk. But I'm, because I have like plenty of hard disk lying around and it is not good, by the way, I will probably and I should probably set up a rate server and hopefully I will also share. Uh, but of course, you know, you, I mean, the only problem I have is that I just have 24 hours in a day. I think uh, I can do, I want to do so many things. So going back to the topic, yes, publishing your own website, do it yourself, start with simple HTML um, and host it, host it for free if you want on GitLab. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk, 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 talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.